Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to RNG abuse the Therian Legendaries in Pokemon Black and White 2 from the Dream Radar app in RNG Reporter. So, uh, before you watch this video, I highly recommend you watch my uh, video on how to RNG abuse the regular Pokemon from uh, Dream Radar. Uh, the Therians, you only get one shot at, so if you mess this up, you're going to have to restart your Dream Radar or restart your white game or both, potentially. Um, so, you get multiple shots at the regular Pokemon, and it's very similar to this, so I'd highly recommend watching that guide first. Anyway, on to the guide. Uh, so, since I explained a vast majority of the quirks to this RNG abuse, I'm going to cover them again in this video, but it's going to be a lighter coverage, I'd say. So, the few things you need to know are this is not an officially uh, supported function in RNG Reporter. So, that means uh, you're going to have to use some features that aren't normally used, and it's going to be a little bit more... Uh, you're going to have to search for the seeds you want by hand a lot, uh, and it's going to be a little tedious, and you're going to have to use some math formulas. Uh, the nature is tied to the Pokemon's IVs, uh, their stats. So that means if you find a good IV spread, uh, but when you do the calculations, uh, the nature does not ma is not the one you want. You, you can't get a different nature with that IV spread. So you have to hand search through seeds to find uh, IV seeds or IV spreads that match the nature you want. Uh, they can only be advanced two at a time. Uh, what this ends up meaning is you can only end up using uh, IV seeds that have uh, an odd number as the uh, the frame that you want to hit. Uh, and the way you do the advancements is unique. So uh, the way you do the advancements is you go to Unova Link, you click Key Systems, you hit Send and Receive Keys, and then right when you hit Yes here, the Save Spinner is going to pop up, and you back out immediately. Uh, you can see it was in the upper... Uh, the upper left hand corner and you do it again so every time you go into that menu and you back out that advances the frame by two which is why you can only use odd numbered seeds because you can't hit an even seed and therians are always going to be on odd seeds um, the last thing to note is that since those it those spinners they advance it by two but they're also how you confirm the uh, the seed that you're trying to hit. So like I'll go in right. So it's up up left, down, uh, and left. So it was up left, down, and left. Uh, while I'm s going there to advance the frames, I'm also checking those uh, their positions to see if I'm on the actual correct seed. And since it's black and white too, there's a chance you missed your timer zero and you're on the wrong seed. Uh, luckily, what this means is once your Therian is sent to your game, uh, as long as you don't go into uh, Nintendo 3DS Link to receive the Pokemon, um, you can keep going to key systems and missing your timer zero as many times as you have to until you hit the correct uh, timer zero and seed. Okay, uh, I believe that is everything that I will cover in the quick rundown here. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Okay, no. So... Now that that's everything, uh, I explained how this works The uh, over here. So, I'm going to go into RNG Reporter, and we're going to finally start looking for our seeds. So, you're going to go into Time Finder, like usual, 5th generation Time Finder. Make sure you have the correct profile selected. You're going to pick your months. I recommend doing every month. You're going to set the IV minimum frame to 16, and the maximum... I set to 76. Uh, the maximum is how many advances you have to do. Um, so you can you can increase that higher if you can't find a nature on a frame that you uh, li uh, if you can't find a nature that you like. Uh, the minimum is set because uh, at 16 because you need to do at least eight advances to determine if you're on the correct seed at all. Uh, so I would say minimum 16. The maximum is however many times you're willing to go into send and receive keys and back out. Uh, you're going to want to pick every month because you're going to need as many options as you can in order to uh, be able to 
find uh, a nature tied to IVs that you want. And lastly, you're going to want to pick your IVs. I'm going for a Thunderous with either a Modest or a Timid Nature. You leave the encounter type as wild Pokemon and the encounter slot as any. And then you click Generate. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'll meet you back when I have all my seeds. Okay, so we have some seeds to explore here. Uh, and I'm going to show you a failed seed first and then I'm going to show you the seed I'm actually going to use. So first thing to note is you can only use seeds with an odd frame. I touched on this briefly, but here's what I mean. This is a, this is a starting frame for the IV of 20. That's that's the, the IV frame uh, you want. Uh, you can't uh, you can't use this one. It needs to be an odd. So 21, 47, 59, 59, 61, and 65 are all viable choices, uh, unless they have the natures we don't like. But 62 and 20 are not viable choices. We can't use these at all for the Therians anyway. Okay. So with that out of the way, I'm going to show you how the calculations work. So let's say I'm going to try out this seed of 61 uh, with a frame of 61 here with these stats. You right click it, you click copy seed to clipboard, you go into the main window in RNG Reporter, Gen 5 PID RNG, paste your seed, uh, check black and white 2 and check memory link only if you use memory link and then hit calculate initial PID frame. Uh, and then the encounter type is left as wild Pokemon and hit generate. So. How do we figure out what nature is tied to this uh, seed in particular? Well, I have a formula that I have written down, and I'll put in the description as well. So, the formula we're going to be looking at is the one that says nature frame. So, it is initial PID frame, plus offset, plus IV target frame, which has to be an odd number, minus 16. It sounds complicated, but it's simple. Initial PID frame, right? That's this, the starting frame here. So let's open our calculators. So in the calculator, you're going to want to do 56, or whatever your starting frame number is. Then you're going to add the offset to it. The offset is always 2. For the Therane legendaries, it will always be 2. So you add 2 to that. Then you add your IV target frame. The IV frame is the one in the fifth generation time finder. You see mine is 61, so I'm going to add uh, 61 to mine. Then you subtract 16. So we're going to land on frame 103. However, if you've used memory link, and even if you check the box here that says memory link, uh, you subtract one from your final answer, and only if you've used memory link. So even though the answer here in the calculator is 103, we're actually going to be hitting frame 102. So this is a hasty nature, which is really not the worst for Thunderous, but I can do better. So we're going to check a different seed, right? So I can't get any other nature than hasty for this Thunderous if I use this seed. So I'm going to skip to the next one, go to 65, copy seed from clipboard, Hit paste, calculate initial PID frame, and hit generate. So we have a 47 here. So we do 47, we follow the formula, right? 47 plus 2 plus 65, which was my IV target frame, and then we subtract 16 from it. We get 98. And remember, since I am using, uh, since I have memory link in this game, it's actually 97. So a modest nature, which is the nature I want. Okay, perfect. So now, there's two more things to do. The next one is to figure out how many times we need to do advancements. The advancement is to go into send and receive keys, check your little spinner, see what direction it is, and back out. So it's the IV frame minus 21, and then you take that and divide it by two. So my IV frame is 65, so we're going to take that, 65, minus 21, that's 44, and then divide that by 2, oops, I, I messed up in the calculator, but it's 22, obviously, so I'll do it again, 65, minus 21, then you divide that by 2, there you go, okay, 
So we need to go uh, into the send and receive keys and back out 22 times. Now I said before there is a way to verify that you're on the correct seed. And that is to go into the researcher. So go into the main window in RNG Reporter and you click researcher, which is right here. Uh, this window is a bit odd and I'll be honest, I don't entirely understand what it's doing. But what I do know is if you click BWRNG here in the drop down menu under the common RNGs section, under custom one drop down, you click 32 bit high. The next drop down, you click these two arrows. Then you type 29 in the box. Then you paste your seed that you're using, so the one here you have in the main window. You copy paste that into the seed hex and then hit generate. Then you scroll down to where your starting frame would be, which is minus 47 here. Okay. So what's going on in this window? Right. Under the custom one section, these numbers actually represent the direction of the spinner under send and receive keys. So if I go into send and receive keys, right, look at it back out. That was upper left. So I have written down in a notepad file here. Uh, the direction each number represents. So upper left would be a 7, upper right would be a 1, and so on and so forth. You get the idea, all right? So uh, another thing is the, f the send and receive keys, what they follow, uh, the numbers, right, with this pattern under custom 1 here, what this follows is what depends on whether or not your game is using memory link, okay? So if you've used memory link, you will start on your starting frame. So I have used memory link, so my starting frame will be 47. So I should see a 7 and as my starting number, which is an upper left. If I have not used memory link, then my starting frame will be the one after it, which is a 48, uh, which is frame 48, which is the number 4, which is the direction down. Uh, and uh, as I said earlier, Every time you do the advancement under send and receive keys, it advances it by two, not one. So I go in, I should start with seven. I'll go in, right? I'll check it. It should be, it should be upper, uh, it should be <laughs> upper left hand. Then after that, when I do it again, I'll check. It'll go to the two instead of one, right? So it doesn't go seven and then four. It'll go seven, then zero, then seven, then three, so on and so forth. If I had not used memory link, it would be four, then six, then five, then three, then one, and so on and so forth. Okay, with all that out of the way, we're ready to start our game. So, go back into the fifth gen time finder and check what time we have to boot our DS up at. And open your Eon timer application. So here we just have to change the date and time, like a normal RNG abuse. So I believe I have the correct date already. And we go to the clock, 18.33, and it's 21 seconds in Eon timer. Okay, so we're going to change the time to be 18.33, like it says in our time finder, and start your DS clock in Eon timer at the same time, like a normal RNG abuse would. And you back out and you wait for Eon Timer to count you down until you start your game. Uh, I don't have any key presses held, but if you do, you'd be holding them when you start the game, again, like a normal DS. Uh, I have no key presses, so I'm not going to hold anything until the Game Freak logo appears. Let's start my game. And wait for the Game Freak logo to, the little star, to start shooting. And there we go. So now you go straight to the Unova link option and you click the send key system and send and receive keys and check your spinner. So that was upper left, which is a 7. That was up, which is a 0, which I believe is what I'm supposed to be on. I'm going to click it again. Upper left, which is a 7, which is again what I'm supposed to be on. Okay, so here I'm just confirming what I'm on. Uh, when I first open it up, it'll be on 7, and then which is up left, and then uh, when I open it up again, it should be the one two spaces down, and I'm just confirming that. So I have to keep doing this until I'm 100% sure, which I would do 8 or so advances. So 
on the bottom right, which is a 3, which is what I'm supposed to be on. So that was a 4. That should be a 3. And at this point, I'm fairly certain uh, I'm on the correct seed, so I'm going to start uh, just doing the advancements and counting the numbers. Uh, I'll meet you back when I'm done with my advancements real quick. Okay, so now uh, I'm nearing the end of my advancements here. Uh, I had to do 22, and you use the... Um, I've been using the custom one numbers to confirm the spinners in the proper place. And once I hit the number 22, I hit the 22nd advancement. I back out, scroll down to Nintendo 3DS link, and receive my Thunderous. And that's it. Uh, either I hit the correct seed, and my Thunderous has all perfect stats and a modest nature, or I missed it and my thunder sucks. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, at, at the end of the day, this is why I recommended practicing uh, with regular Pokemon first, because the way advancements work, the way figuring out which, uh, which stats and nature you have, uh, they're all very similar, almost identical in fact. So the only difference is some of the formulas is different. Uh, so I'm actually I'm actually like in the middle of I was doing something else in this game, so I gotta go I gotta go fly to oh crap, I'm spazzing out. Uh, I gotta go to the PC to check my Thunderous. Uh, and if your Thunderous is wrong, right? Let's say I didn't get a modest Thunderous with with perfect stats. Um, that that's it. You can't receive another Thunderous in White Two, so you'd have to restart the game and you'd have to restart uh, Dream Radar. Uh, so, it's very high risk, but it's also high reward, because it's the only way you can get a Sheer Force Landorus, and it uh, lets you get some extra uh, Pokemon. So mine has the correct nature, uh, which means I probably... it's probably correct, but... Obviously it does not hurt to check their stats at all, so I'm gonna go to the Judge in Nimbasa. And he will tell me my Thunderous is outstanding, and that he loves every second of it, and that it's a beautiful creature and all of its stats are 31 except for attack. So, And <clears throat> I, I guess I didn't touch on this at all in the guide. Uh, I should put an annotation earlier, but um, the Therians or any Pokemon from Dream Radar, they can't be shiny, so there's no point in even trying to manipulate that. So let's talk to this dude. He'll tell me everything's perfect. Um, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, which I'm sure you will, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. Thanks, everybody. I will see you next RNG Abuse.